accepting multiple identities. Doing human incarnation well requires playing many roles and accepting multiple identities. A woman's life may require her to play daughter, sister, lover, mother, grandmother, crone, student, professional, retiree, etc. Even in the course of a single day, you may be required to play several roles and work from multiple identities. Often we may experience a larger archetypal identity within, hero, sage, prophet, etc., while we are perceived as something much smaller in the outer world. I may be a legend in my own mind, but to the outer world, I may present as a weird old guy working on an eccentric website. We're the star of our movie, but since other people tend to be the stars of their movies, we may show up in their movie as an extra helping to fill in a crowd scene. Mutants are likely, you can see a glossary of my zap terms, uh, to get a definition of what I mean by mutants. Mutants are likely to feel a painful tension between their sense of themselves and the roles they have to play in the world. We live in a society that celebrates and rewards certain things. The ability to skillfully manipulate a stock portfolio or truck of football, for example, but is notoriously deficient in recognizing other abilities such as empathy, individuation, and many creative talents. For example, most people can give you the names of several famous quarterbacks, but would be hard-pressed to think of even a single online oracle creator, the name of even a single online oracle creator, even though the fate of the species obviously depends on their tireless and humbling labors. Consider the occurrence of this card an auspicious time to accept and work skillfully with your many roles and identities. So, uh, you know, often I'm just trying to find something else I wanted to add to this, but you have to play a professional at work, then maybe you come home and you're a lover, a boyfriend, a girlfriend, a husband, a wife, a mother, a father, whatever, and these roles are, are quite different. Um, so even in the course of one day, you may have to shift through multiple of these identities, and that doesn't make you inauthentic. Uh, we need to adopt different persona, re that meant the actor's mask, but in Jung Jungians use it to mean that this kind of specialized outer demeanor that we uh, need to adopt at different times. Uh, the, the danger, though, is that some people come to identify with their persona, with the uh, role that they have to play, and you can tell that's happening to somebody when they refer to themselves, when it really pathologizes in the third person, like you'll hear Madonna refer to herself in the third person, and, and more famously, Trump. He hates Trump and this kind of thing. He'll refer to himself in the third person because the, the mask now wears him. Uh, but this can happen if you wear a uniform, if you're a policeman, um, for example. So here's how Shakespeare put it in As You Like It. All the world's a stage, and all the men and women merely players. They have their exits and their entrances, and one man in his time plays many parts. He acts, his acts being seven ages. At first the infant, mewling and puking in the nurse's arms, then the whining schoolboy with his satchel and shining morning face, creeping like a snail unwillingly to school, and then the lover, sighing like furnace with a woeful ballad, made to his mistress' eyebrow, then a soldier full of strange oaths and bearded like the pard, jealous in honor, sudden and quick in quarrel, seeking the bubble reputation even in the cannon's mouth, and then the justice, in fair round belly with good ca cape unlined, with eyes severe and beard of formal cut, full of wise saws and modern instances, and so he plays his part. The sixth age shifts into the lean and slippered pantaloon, with spectacles on nose and pouch on side, his youthful hose well saved, a world too wide for his shrunk shank, and his big manly voice, turning again toward childish treble, pipes and whistles in his sound. Last scene of all, that ends this strange eventful history, 
is second childishness and mere oblivion, sans teeth, sans eyes, sans taste, sans everything. And again, that was Act 2, Scene 7, As You Like It. But whether you like it or not, those are the roles that almost all of us have to play. And I guess I should have rehearsed that a little bit, but uh, I guess I have some background in Elizabethan English from being an English major. But for those who don't understand, sans teeth, sans French for without teeth, second childishness, in other words, what we call dementia or Alzheimer's. Um, so if you look through the, uh, read through that again, you'll see that this is an extremely contemporary reflection, meaning it's a completely universal reflection because until biotechnology and AI and computational biology may change the human life cycle soon, but otherwise um, the people in Elizabethan England were playing the same kind of identities uh, chronologically based that, that we play, of being an infant, being a school child, um, you know, being a, a a person of authority, the justice, and so forth, or being a soldier, um, you know, seeking the, the bubble reputation, even in the cannon's mouth, um, and this kind of thing. It's, it's, it's pretty shockingly, it's almost like the book of Ecclesiastes, in how much in this romantic comedy, um, the, the stark realities of the life cycle and of the multiple identities are confronted. So accept your multiple identities as, uh, I guess I should add this to the card, um, as uh, Mary Renault character said, man must make his peace with his seasons or the gods will laugh at him. So you must make your peace with your seasonal identities. Um, when I was in, in school, because I went to college when I was 16, and I skipped a grade and had a December birthday, wherever I went, I was always the youngest. Now, I go to festival, almost wherever I go, I'm the oldest. But that's the kind of thing uh, you just have to make peace with. Uh, don't try and be young when you're old. I don't say that I'm 66 years young or anything like that. Um, accept the identities that come with the changing cycles and circumstances of life.